The Life of Chao Tzu from Dragon Ball Chao Tzu, also known as Chao's in the original Japanese version, is the constant companion and best friend of Tian Shin Han and one of Master Shen's former students. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the life of Chao Tzu. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. We've also noticed that a lot of our viewers aren't actually subscribed to the Amagi. We know that YouTube is doing its magic and getting you the videos you want to watch, but if you don't want to miss a single one of ours, and if you want to support the channel, clicking that subscribe button really helps. Thanks so much. Fortune Teller Baba Saga Chao Tzu is shown as Tian's partner in crime, traveling with him from village to village with the Ino Shikacho, a naturally gentle beast who attacks villages Tian and Chao Tzu tell him to. Tian and Chao Tzu inevitably save the villages and collect huge rewards for the false services. Goku tries to expose them as frauds, but Tian convinces the villagers it's Goku who's an ally of Ino Shikacho. He's seen with Tian in the boat headed to the World Martial Arts Tournament on Papaya Island. Tian Shin Han Saga Chao Tzu is fully introduced to the series at the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament during the Tian Shin Han Saga. He's a student of Master Shen, who enters him along with Tian in order to represent the Crane School of Martial Arts and to defeat the students of his rival, the Turtle Hermit Master Roshi. At Tian's request, Chao Tzu uses his mental powers to fix the ordering of the matches in the quarterfinals. Chao Tzu decides to put himself up against Krillin, who is representing Master Shen's rival, Master Roshi, and who he had been exchanging petty insults with since the start of the tournament. As the quarterfinal match begins, Chao Tzu and Krillin begin at an even pace, until Krillin starts to edge him out of the ring. Noticing this, Chao Tzu levitates high into the air and begins firing multiple Dodon rays at Krillin. After Tian informs Master Shen that his brother, Mercenary Tao, faced defeat at the hands of the turtle student Goku, Chao Tzu was ordered to kill Krillin at once by using a single powerful Dodon Ray. As Chao Tzu fires his Dodon Ray, Krillin manages to avoid the attack by leaping upwards into the sky. Following the aftermath of the explosion, Krillin then proceeds to hit Chao Tzu with a Kamehameha, hoping to land Chao Tzu out of bounds. However, Chao Tzu manages to recover from the attack and levitates back into the arena. After both Chao Tzu and Krillin land back in the arena, Chao Tzu unleashes his telekinesis technique to attack Krillin's internal organs. Whilst Chao Tzu has Krillin clutching his stomach in pain, Master Shen then telepathically orders him to slowly kill Krillin instead of tossing him out of bounds. Chao Tzu then proceeds to kick Krillin around the ring. Krillin soon figures out that Chao Tzu needs to have his palms spread out in order to continue with his attack. When Krillin asks Chao Tzu a basic math question, Chao Tzu needs to use his fingers to come up with the answer, which stops his telekinesis technique from working each time he counts. The second time this happens, Chao Tzu is punched out of the arena after Krillin breaks free from the telekinesis, thus causing Chao Tzu to lose the match via ring out. This makes Master Shen wish he taught Chao Tzu math. During Tian's match with Goku in the final round, Chao Tzu is ordered by Master Shen to use his psychic abilities to constantly paralyze Goku during their match. Eventually discovering this, Tian demands that Chao Tzu stop since he wants a fair match. After Tian refuses to kill Goku and rejects the path of an assassin, an infuriated Master Shen orders Chao Tzu to kill both Tian and Goku. Chao Tzu refuses as not only does he want to see how the tournament ends, but he also doesn't want to kill his best friend, Tian, who is fighting at his best, even if his master orders it. The Crane Hermit then grabs Chao Tzu and threatens to kill him instead. Master Roshi puts an end to this by blasting Master Shen out of the stadium with a Kamehameha, thus saving Chao Tzu and allowing Tian and Goku to continue their match. After the match ends and Tian is declared the winner of the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament, Roshi offers to let Chao Tzu and Tian stay at the Kame House. Tian declines the offer, stating that he and Chao Tzu cannot follow the teachings of another, even if they've both betrayed their master. King Piccolo Saga The good mood is short-lived, however, as turtle student Krillin is unexpectedly killed while separated momentarily from the group. Along with his body, a note was left at the scene, with the character Demon on it. A concerned Master Roshi tells everyone that it represents an incredibly powerful demon king, King Piccolo, who was sealed away inside an electric rice cooker centuries ago by Master Roshi's and 
Grand Master Shen's old master, Master Mutaido, by using the suicidal evil containment wave technique, but is now apparently free again. On hearing this, Goku, still not fully recovered from his battle with Tien, rushes off to seek revenge. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Shoutsu and Tien volunteer to help in any way they can. They're informed of the seven Dragon Balls, which when collected summon Shenron, a mystical dragon that can grant any wish. Along with Master Roshi, they venture out on a desperate quest to retrieve them in order to have the dragon revive Krillin. When Shoutsu and his friends eventually arrive at a mercenary clan's location to retrieve a Dragon Ball, Shoutsu uses his telekinetic powers to great advantage when the clan fire many bullets towards Roshi, Tien, and Shoutsu. After finding Finding several Dragon Balls, the Dragon Radar shows them that the remaining Dragon Balls are actually coming towards them, meaning King Piccolo is also seeking the Dragon Balls and is coming for theirs. Master Roshi, Chiaotzu, and Tian use this as a plan to capture King Piccolo once again. Before King Piccolo can confront them, Master Roshi unexpectedly knocks Tian out and hides him in a cave. He then tells Chiaotzu that there has been a change of plans, and to refrain from jumping into the fight and to remain hidden, whatever happens. Master Roshi plans on using the evil containment wave again against King Piccolo since Goku is thought to have already been killed. Chiaotzu, along with a semi-conscious Tien, can do nothing but witness Master Roshi's ultimately unsuccessful stand against the powerful Demon King, dying in the process of giving a small speech. Afterward, King Piccolo wastes no time joining the Dragon Balls together to summon Shenron and have his wish for eternal youth granted. To combat this, Chiaotzu is ordered desperately by Tien to quickly make a wish to destroy King Piccolo before the Demon King can make one himself. Chiaotzu appears from the shadows and attempts to change the wish, but he is quickly killed mid-sentence from a blast by King Piccolo. In act, Tien can only watch in horror. King Piccolo continues to make his wish and then destroys the dragon afterward, knowing that it's the only thing that can stop him. When King Piccolo leaves, Tien respectfully places Roshi and Shiaotzu's corpses close to each other neatly, and soon Shiaotzu is placed into a freezing capsule to preserve his body. After Goku manages to defeat King Piccolo, Shiaotzu was later wished back to life by Bulma and company, after Goku convinced Kami to bring Shenron back to life, thus reviving the Dragon Balls. Piccolo Jr. Saga Shiaotzu then trains with Tien, Yamcha, and the newly resurrected Krillin until they're informed by Master Roshi that, to be able to compete with Goku, they're going to need to find better ways to train than are available at the Kame House. They all head to Korin Tower and train with Korin before each going their own separate way. Three years after King Piccolo's defeat, Chiaotzu, along with Tien, Krillin, and Yamcha return to compete in the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. He, as well as the rest of the group, is surprised to see Goku, now a teenager, and looks forward to the upcoming fights. When the lots are drawn up to determine the order of the fights, Chiaotzu carries out Tien's request to manipulate the cards so that none of the group, Tien, Yamcha, Goku, Chiaotzu, or Krillin, or Piccolo Jr., King Piccolo's reincarnation, fight each other in the preliminaries. The early matches seem to be going as usual, with the group quickly dispatching their opponents. When Chiaotzu faces his opponent, he turns fearful, with Tien then receiving a horrible sense of something happening to Chiaotzu. He races to the scene and finds Chiaotzu heavily wounded and unconscious, his opponent turning out to be the now cybernetically enhanced mercenary Tao. Tao explains that after his seeming death by Goku, he was rebuilt into the half-man, half-machine before them, and had returned to take revenge on Tien and Chiaotzu for disgracing the Crane School, and Goku for defeating him before. Chiaotzu had suffered serious injuries but was treated at the nearby hospital and later rejoined Tien and the others after Goku defeated Piccolo Jr. Saiyan Saga Five years after the defeat of Piccolo Jr., after learning that Goku sacrificed his life to defeat Raditz, Chiaotzu is summoned along with Tian Shin Han, Krillin, Yamcha, and Yajirobe to train at the lookout for the battle against Vegeta and Nappa. After completing Kami's training, he then continues to train with Tian until the Saiyans arrive on Earth. As Tian and Chiaotzu make their way to the battlefield, Tian requests that Chiaotzu stay behind. Chiaotzu begins insisting that he too has trained hard, thus earning his right to participate in the fight. Tian continues to pressure Chiaotzu into staying. However, Chiaotzu refuses and continues with Tian along to the battlefield. Both Chiaotzu and Tian arrive at the battlefield prior to the fight beginning, but just before Yamcha does. Despite the Z Fighters agreeing with Vegeta to challenge the Cybermen one at a time, Chiaotzu and Gohan do not get a chance to take on any of the Cybermen. After Yamcha is killed by a self-destructing Cyberman, and the remaining Cybermen were destroyed by Krillin and Piccolo, Nappa decides to challenge the Z-Fighters himself. Whilst he powers himself up, Chiaotzu attempts to use his telekinesis attack on Nappa, but he proves too strong for the attack to have any effect. As Nappa finishes powering up, he charges at Tien and proceeds to cut off his left arm. Chiaotzu is horrified as he sees the mighty Saiyan brutally attacking his best friend before his eyes. After Krillin recovers from the
from the aftershock of a blazing storm from Nappa, he looks around in fear that Chiaotzu was taken out by the blast. Vegeta tells Nappa to look behind him as Chiaotzu latches himself upon Nappa's back, thus making himself a living bomb. The gigantic Saiyan struggles to remove him. After Chiaotzu telepathically says goodbye to Tian, he detonates and kills himself in a hopeful attempt to save his friends. However, Nappa surprises the Z fighters by smugly reappearing from the smoke unfazed, and with a small amount of damage being done to him. Tian and Krillin are then left in anger at the fact that Chiaotzu's attack did not phase Nappa at all, and thus Chiaotzu's suicide attack was in vain. Frieza Saga Because of the influence of Kami after he perished, Chiaotzu's body was regenerated by Kami and was allowed to train on King Kai's planet in the other world as Goku did earlier. Joining him were the other warriors who also perished in the battle against the Saiyans. Tien, Piccolo, and Yamcha. On King Kai's planet, King Kai tells Goku that they all crossed Snake Way in a far shorter time than he did, and that they all requested for tougher training than what Goku had received. Chao Tzu, along with Tien and Yamcha, remain on King Kai's planet and learns of everyone's Goku, Vegeta, Krillin, Gohan, Dende, and Piccolo fuse with Nail, mighty struggle with the evil tyrant Frieza on planet Namek. In a filler scenario, he defeated Galdo of the Ginyu Force with relative ease. After Yamcha reports Goku's victory, he then relays that the Namekian Dragon Balls can revive those who have died more times, specifically meaning Chiaotzu, Goku, and Krillin can be revived too, delighting him. He is eventually wished back to life a second time, along with Tien, by a wish made to Poranga. After returning to Earth, Chiaotzu and Tien go into solitude, training in the mountains. Frieza Androids Interlude A year later, whilst Chiaotzu and Tien are training in the mountains, they're interrupted when they sense two powerful evil keys heading towards Earth. They then fly to the location of where the keys are coming from. Both Chiaotzu and Tien are surprised to find Vegeta, who was somewhat reformed during the crisis on Namek and now resides on Earth with Bulma, and the other Z fighters, who inform them that the key that they're detecting is Frieza, who somehow survived. When Frieza does land, he is quickly dispatched by an unknown mysterious youth. Piccolo, overhearing the youth's private private conversation with Goku tells everyone the warning that two incredibly powerful androids will attack within three years. This is the main point where Chiaotzu's importance begins to drop off, since as one of the least powerful Z fighters, he can't contribute much. Chiaotzu now usually stays in the background, mostly training with Tien in the frozen northern wastes. In anime filler, he sometimes stays at the Kame house with Master Roshi, Puar, and Oolong. Android Saga After the three years had passed, the rest of the Z fighters appear to the location where the androids would soon show up. Tien tells the others that Chiaotzu did indeed train with him for the arrival of the androids, but thought it was best to leave him behind, as Tien felt that he would not have been able to keep up with the battle, which Goku agreed with. During this time, Chiaotzu proceeded to cook for Master Roshi, Poir and Oolong. He also met Marin, who had returned looking for Krillin. After the rest of the Z fighters were defeated by androids 17 and 18, Chiaotzu left with Tian, after being informed about the seriousness of the situation. Cell Saga Chiaotzu later reappears in what seems to be a training area, where both he and Tian both sense Cell's key. Due to a possible request from Tian, Chiaotzu also does not appear at the Cell games with the other Z fighters, or the fight against the Cell Juniors. Majin Buu Saga He makes an appearance with Tien as they are traveling in the mountains. He's interrupted when they both sense Goku transforming into his Super Saiyan 3 form. Chiaotzu later reappears alongside Tien whilst they're training in the mountains. Here, himself and Tien manage to evade being hit by Super Buu's human extinction attack, which was used to exterminate the population of Earth. They then briefly examine the small craters left behind by Super Buu's attack. He's killed along with Tien when Kid Buu blows up the Earth using the Planet Burst, and is later wished back to life along with everyone else. Afterward, he and Tien later give their energy to the Super Spirit Bomb along with everyone else on Earth so that Goku can destroy Kid Buu. He's later seen at a party at Bulma's house. After the end of the Buu saga, Chiaotzu helps out with farming, together with Tien Shin Han. His work utilizing his telekinetic powers has a reputation for its efficiency, and he's hired at an expensive rate by farmers nearby, so he apparently has a surprisingly large amount of money saved away. God of Destruction Beerus Saga Tzu, along with Tian Shin Han, attends Bulma's birthday party. On the way there, they encounter Krillin, 18, Marin, Yamcha, and Poir. At the party, Chiaotzu plays with Marin during the event. The God of Destruction, Beerus, shows up and decides to participate in the activities while searching for the Super Saiyan God. He eventually gets angry over not getting pudding from Boo. After Beerus takes out the Z fighters presently there, he decides to destroy the Earth. Chiaotzu stays by Tian Shin Han until Goku arrives from King Kai's planet and asks Beerus for more time. Goku uses this time to summon Shenron and ask him how to summon a Super Saiyan God. With the help of Vegeta, Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and Videl, who is presently pregnant with Pan, Goku is able to become a Super 
Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God Goku and Beerus start clashing throughout Earth and eventually through space. Chiaotzu watches the fight from Bulma's aircraft after Goku and Beerus get too far for them to see. Their fight eventually descends to Earth, but Goku loses in the end. Beerus is prepared to destroy the Earth, but falls asleep while preparing a blast. Whis, Beerus' attendant, takes Beerus home. Golden Frieza Saga Sometime after the battle with the God of Destruction Beerus, Chiaotzu is farming with Tian Shin Han when suddenly the sky darkens and they realize Shenron has been summoned. During the Golden Frieza Saga, Tian mentions to Gohan and Piccolo that he's sorry he didn't bring Chiaotzu to the battle with Frieza's army as the 1,000 soldiers go out of the tyrant's ship, an alteration of the claim made in the movie. Chiaotzu dies when Frieza uses his Emperor's Blast to blow up the Earth, but his death is undone by Whis, who draws back time to the moment SSB Vegeta defeated Frieza. Universe 6 Saga Chiaotzu is traveling with Goku and the rest of the gang to the Nameless Planet where the Tournament of Destroyers is being held, and they're being taken there by Whis in his box. After 2 hours and 45 minutes of traveling, they arrive on the Nameless Planet. Chiaotzu is a bystander and watches from the stands. Copy Vegeta Saga At the celebration party, Chiaotzu is seeing flying Marin around. He also uses his telekinesis to try and stop Goku from sparring Manaka, but to no avail. <laughs> Universe Survival Saga Chiaotzu is seen walking on the beach with Tien after a training session. After a few days, with 9 hours and 40 minutes till the Tournament of Power will begin, it's revealed that both Chiaotzu and Tien now run a dojo called the Tien Shin Style Dojo. Chiaotzu opens the door to Yurin, an ex-Crane School fighter, who came there to get revenge against Tien for leaving her behind when they left the Crane School, and takes her to meet Tien. Afterward, when Goku arrives to recruit Tien and Master Roshi, we learn that Tien and Chiaotzu haven't met Goku since the U6 tournament. Afterwards, the town next to the dojo is being attacked by Tien's students under Yurin's talisman spells. Goku uses instant transmission to take Tien, Chiaotzu, and Roshi to the town. There, Tien asks Chiaotzu and Goku to take care of his possessed students, which they do, but at first, Chiaotzu's suppressed attack towards them isn't enough. When Roshi is taken under Yurin's spell and manages to defeat Tien, Chiaotzu is worried about his best friend, but Goku saves him. When Goku is charging his Kamehameha at the possessed full power Roshi, the defeated Tien asks Chiaotzu to use his psychic powers against Yurin, so he shoots a wind bubble towards her skirt to lift it up and weakens her complete possession of Roshi before Goku hit him. After Yurin is stopped, Tien agrees to take her on as a student, which makes Chiaotzu show his concerns and to speak out about this idea. Shortly after, Chiaotzu goes to a nearby restaurant to eat dinner with Tien, Roshi, and Goku. After a while of eating, with Tien's paying for the expensive treat, Due to Goku's Saiyan hunger, Gohan and Piccolo arrive and invite Goku to test their new strength. Goku accepts, but wants Tien to tag in with him for a two-on-two -two fight. Chiaotzu stands on a nearby cliff and watches the battle with Roshi talking with him. After Piccolo and Tien had been taken out, they join Chiaotzu and Roshi to view the battle between potential unleashed Gohan and Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. In the manga, Tien considers Chiaotzu as the 10th member for Team Universe 7 once Good Buu fell asleep. Galactic Patrol Prisoner Saga During the two month preparation against Moro's Galactic Brigade, Chiaotzu is recruited by the Galactic Patrol alongside Tian Shin Han to help defend the Earth, although he's nervous as he has not fought a serious battle in a long time. After witnessing Moro Corps scatter around the world, Chiaotzu and Tian head off and are seen fighting against Bikuda Koiter. The pair manage to keep Bikuda on the defensive, although the Metal Man is unfazed by the barrage of attacks. After the Galactic Patrol allies inform him and Tian of Bikuda's race, Chiaotzu remembers that Metal Men are weak to insult and tries to get Tian to insult Bikuda into submission, but Tian's half-baked jabs are in vain. Chiaotzu makes a more successful attempt of his own at ticking Bikuda off, calling him an octopus, sticking his tongue out at him, and delivering the final blow by declaring him a half-witted hunk of scrap metal. With the metal man sobbing on the ground, Chiaotzu chastises Tian for being terrible at insults. Afterwards, Chiaotzu and Tian fly over to another source of key energy, where they find Yamcha being overpowered by Zhao Yogi. Tian and Chiaotzu assist Yamcha against his foe, but were outmatched as well. Fortunately, Goku suddenly teleports to their location and intercepts Zhao Yogi's attack before proceeding to take him down with a single blow. During the final battle between Goku and Moro, when Goku is having his energy drained, Chiaotzu and the others then give their energy to Vegeta so he can pass it on to Goku in an attempt to revitalize him. Universal Conflict Saga When Hearts' God Meteor is shattered, Chiaotzu stops shards of it from falling on the Tian Shin-style dojo using his telekinesis. Baby Saga Chiaotzu makes a brief appearance on the new planet plant with Tien when Earth is about to explode due to the effect of using the deadly Black Star Dragon Balls. 
Afterwards, the pair attend a party at Capsule Corporation with their friends after the Earth is restored. Shadow Dragon Saga He also makes another appearance when he and Tian are training under a waterfall as they watch Goku pass by with Shenron. Tian looks back and Chiaotzu starts tearing up. Mystical Adventure Chiaotzu appears as the Emperor of Mifan. Serving under him are Minister Shen, General Tao, and his bodyguard Tian Shinhan and the Mifan army. Chiaotzu, having lost his precious Ranran, believes his men are trying to gather the Dragon Balls in order to find it. However, unbeknownst to him, they are actually plotting to steal the kingdom away from him. One night, Chiaotzu has a nightmare that someone was trying to kill him, and he calls out for Tien, telling him how much he values their friendship and that he should call him by his real name as opposed to your majesty. The next day, Emperor Chiaotzu attends the tournament taking place in Mifan, but Shen soon reveals his true intentions, and Chiaotzu is left feeling betrayed and hurt upon realizing that Tien was in on it. Shen orders Tian to kill Chiaotzu, but he can't bring himself to do it. Shen goes to finish the job himself, but Tian blasts him with a tri-beam first. Chiaotzu is reunited with Ranran, a doll, and peace to the kingdom is restored. The Tree of Might After the Tree of Might is formed on Earth, everyone gathers at Goku's house where they're told by King Kai about the danger it holds. Chiaotzu and the others head up to the tree and fire powerful blasts in unison to no effect. When the Turles Crusher Corps appears, Chiaotzu encounters Raisin but can only flee from him. He's caught by a barrage of blasts and falls to the ground, though he is saved from being finished off thanks to Gohan. Chiaotzu appears once again with the others to defend Goku against Turles while he's trying to form a spirit bomb, but is quickly taken down. After the Tree of Might is destroyed, Chiaotzu joins everyone on a camping trip. Bojack Unbound Chiaotzu appears in the crowd alongside Oolong during an intergalactic tournament where he supports his friend Tian Shin Han during his matches. After Gohan, Future Trunks, and Krillin finish competing in the tournament and defeat Bojack and his galaxy soldiers, Chiaotzu and Oolong visit them in the hospital where they're having their wounds tended to. Battle of Gods Four years after the battle against Majin Buu, Chiaotzu attends Bulma's birthday party while his friends soon face the God of Destruction, Beerus. Resurrection F Chiaotzu is mentioned when Tian tells his friends that he and Yamcha won't be able to keep up with the fight against Frieza's army. He was later killed when Frieza blew up Earth. This event is, however, reversed by Whis doing his temporal do-over. Superhero Chiaotzu makes a cameo appearance in Magenta's false depiction of the Dragon Team as villains confronting Cell. The Return of Son Goku and Friends Two years after Kid Buu's defeat, Chiaotzu and Tian attend Mr. Satan's banquet at Mr. Satan's newly made hotel, which celebrates Buu's defeat. The celebration is crashed by a brother duo, Abo and Kado, who are after Vegeta's brother Tarbul. The brothers are challenged by Goten and Trunks, but they fail in defeating them. The brothers, merged as Akka, unleash the attack that destroyed the hotel. Akka is then defeated by Goku with a Kamehameha. After this encounter, they continue their feast. Chiaotzu, along with Tian, only appears in the manga version. In the anime version, he was not seen or mentioned. Fighter Z In the Super Warrior arc, Tian and Chiaotzu are out investigating the clones of various villains, and the Z fighters themselves start appearing when Tian's power is suppressed and sealed by the waves produced by a machine developed by Dr. Jiro, which was activated by the supercomputer's latest creation, Android 21. Chiaotzu is is unaffected by the waves due to his power level being lower than Yamcha, who despite being rusty is still strong enough to be affected yet remain conscious. However, this allows Chiaotzu to defend Tian from the clones until Goku and Krillin manage to locate them. They even commend him for his bravery and loyalty. However, once Tian recovers, he takes on more of a supportive role from the sideline, though he will appear to aid Tian through his psychic powers and farewell Mr. Tian team attack, which allowed him to be summoned to grab Tian's opponent and explode. Despite Tian's reaction after it's used, Chiaotzu cannot actually die from using the technique within the game's narrative. Did you enjoy our video? Well, then be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.